Hello friends, I am Akash Raut and welcome to Akash Biology and the topic that we will be discussing today in this video tutorial is the skin and its layer. So as we all know, skin is the largest organ of our body in terms of both what? Weight and the area. So skin has several functions. So we can just compartmentalize it in four functions. So the function of skin is first protection, second one is moisture control, third one is what to provide pigmentation of the body to protect from the uv rays and fourth one is what thermoregulations so these are the things that are not actually in trans examinations and this video is mainly focused about what layers of skin so the skin consists of how many layers three layers what three layers so what are those layers first of all epidermis what epidermis so epidermis is the outermost layer of skin that is composed of stratified squamous epithelium what that is composed of stratified squamous epithelium similarly what does the epidermis of the stratified squamous epithelium will produce they will produce a protein known as keratin what they will produce a protein known as Keratin. So, what is the function of keratin? The function of keratin is to what? Is to provide protection to the body and to and is water resistant. What water resistance? In today's lecture, we will dealing about the layers of epidermis. So, before this, going on to the what dermis. Second one is what dermis. So, dermis is the layer that is located just beneath the epidermis. What epidermis? It is composed of fibrous and fibroadipose tissue what fibrous and fibroadipose tissue and contains blood vessels now fibers and sensory receptors or sensory fibers and below the dermis is the what third one is the hypodermis what hypodermis it is often known as subcutis or paniculus layer what paniculus layer What does the paniculus layer contains? It is located below the dermis and it consists of larger blood vessels which provide supply to the blood vessels of dermis. So in a north cell we can see let's say this is the section of the skin so this part is epidermis this middle part is dermis and below the dermis is the what? Subcutis. What? Subcutis. So all the hair follicles uh, apart from this, there are various adnexal structures like as hair follicles, eccrine glands, hairs, and other glands. Like as there are other glands as well, that is the apocrine glands, sebaceous glands. All are present in what dermis, what dermis and subcutaneous layer. And what happens? They all are formed in the epidermis, but they undergo downgrowth. What downgrowth during embryological development? Again, I will repeat, the hair follicles, hairs, and hair follicles, sebaceous glands, and then eccrine glands, epocrine glands, all are present in dermis and subcutaneous layer, superficial subcutaneous layer. And in, in the embryological state, what happens, they all are formed in the epidermis, and they have undergone downgrowth, what? Downgrowth into dermis and subcutaneous layer. Now, in this lectures, we are dealing about the, what? Layers of epidermis. So, there are mainly some cases 4 layers, some cases 5 layers. So, 4 layers is present in the thin skin. What? Thin skin. In thick skin, there are 5 layers. What? 5 layers. So, the thick skin is present in palms and soles. What? Palms and soles of our body. So, what are those layers and which of the layer that is being added in the thick skin? So, there are five layers, so now we will memorize it by a mnemonic. What? Mnemonic. Country, looks, green, since, Baisak. So, what? C4. Country means stratum, corneum. Looks means lucidium, lucidum. G4, granulosum. S4, spinosum. And before basil. 
So this layer is added in the thick skin part. Normally only four layers: corneum, granulosum, spinosum, and basal is present. But in the thick skin, there is extra layer that is the lucidum is added. So we have a mnemonic. Country looks green since Baisak or Bhadra. So we can memorize it. Now I will be dealing about every layer compartmentally. So first of all, I will be dealing about with the basal layer. What basal layer? So a stratum basal. A stratum basal. So as the name suggests, it is the innermost layer of epidermis. What innermost layer of epidermis? So let's say this is epidermis and this is what dermis. So this is the innermost layer of cell is known as a stratum basal. What? So it is the innermost layer. The most layer that is in contact with what basement membrane. What? That is in contact with the basement membrane. So all the epidermal cells will lie on a basement membrane that I have told you in my video of animal tissues. And here the basement membrane is not regular, it is irregular because it is being passed by what? Dermis, like at this. So it is not regular. So here the basement membrane is not regular, it is irregular because it is passed by what? Dermal papilla. Dermal papilla. And it consists of single layer of cell. What? Single layer of cuboidal or columnar cell columnar cell in addition to this the point that we have to remember it is the layer that is precursor of keratinocytes what it is the precursor cell precursor cell precursor cell and its layer will form what keratin what keratin so the so this layer is the precursor of keratinocytes and this layer contains two most important type of cells most important type of cells they are what merkel cell merkel cell and second one is the melanocyte what melanocyte so what is the Merkel cell? It the Merkel cells are the cells which has got sensory receptors for touch. What sensory receptor for touch? For touch. Similarly, so that's why it is most present in hands on feet. Hands and feet. As the name suggests, melanocyte will form melanin and melanin provides pigmentation to the body and it protects our body from the UV rays. What? UV rays. UV rays. So this is the thing. Now we have to know one thing. In the growing fetus, what happens? So this is the innermost layer that is the best cell. This one is the dermis, the superficial layer of dermis that is often known as papillary dermis. What? Papillary dermis. In the dermis there are two layers. Papillary and reticular. So superficial is papillary dermis. So in the embryonic state, this one is stratum basal. This is what papillary dermis. Papillary dermis. So these both will combine and form transverse ridges. What transverse ridges? And it forms the basis of fingerprint. What fingerprint? So the fingerprint is the combination of papillary dermis and then basement membrane and the stratum basal that's why even after we just burn our fingers or burn the superficial structure of fingers the fingerprint is reserved because the basis of fingerprint is in the innermost layer of epidermis and dermis layer which is only being got hot in the second and third degree bonds not in the superficial bonds and the fingerprint is the basis of any forensic examinations and it doesn't change with even with the aging and it is unique for every portion. So this one is all about what? A stratum basal. Second one is a spinosum. What? A stratum a spinosum. A stratum a spinosum. As the name suggests, a spino means a spine. What? A spine. A spine. So before undergoing this, what we have to do? So here the cells will have 
got what spines like this so spines like this so every cell has got two peripheral spines and this junction is known as what desmosome what desmosome so what is the function of desmosomes so it adhere the cell what adhere the adjacent cells and provide protection to these layers so that's why this desmosome so cell over here is multiple layer what multi layer of cell normally 8 to 10 layer of cells and the cells over here is known as keratinocytes what keratinocytes so all the cell layers from is shape the stratum basal that is from the spinosome to corneum is known as keratinocytes and the cell over here are polyhedral in shape polyhedral in shape with prominent nucleoli prominent nucleolus and pavement epithelial like a structure and the thing that we have to remember that in the spinosome layer there is langerhans cell what langer langer and cell langerhans cells so what is the function of langerhans cell the function of langerhans cell is to phagocyte what phagocyte so it ingests the micro organism foreign particles and again the things that may be asked here occurs the main stratum basal is only the precursor but the actual synthesis of the keratin protein occurs here what occurs here so first of all what happens cytokeratin is formed what cytokeratin is formed now the various cytokeratin will what aggregate to form what tonofilament tonofilament and now the tono various tonofilament will combine to form tonofibrils what tonofibrils and along with the tonofibril there is also presence of glycolipid what glycolipid formations and what is the function of this glycolipid this glycolipid forms the keratin as a water resistant makes the keratin water water resistance now coming on to the third layer that is what granulosum what granulosum is the stratum granulosum so name suggest granulosum means green like a structure what green like a structure because green is structured means as the what keratinocyte form the spinosum adds its essence of their various changes that occurs so here what happens as the keratinocytes mature in the upside positions it will acquire dense basophilic granules granules known as keratohyaline granules what keratohyaline granules and the keratohyaline granules is rich in a protein rich in protein that is most abundant in sulfur so it is rich in protein which has sulfur and sulfur is present which amino acid is cysteine what cysteine so questions may be asked which layer of the epidermis is most abundant in cysteine it is the stratum granulosum and along with this there is also another protein that is involucrin what involucrin and this both layer makes the actual keratin what actual keratin so actual keratin means what the tono fibrils plus keratohyaline granules along with the packing of what involucrin proteins protein so all this process is known as keratinization what keratinization now we can be asked in examinations which layer is known as the precursor of keratin that is the stratum basal where the actual keratin pro keratin protein synthesis start in the spinosome and in each layer the actual synthesis of keratin protein is completed or the process of keratinization takes place it is what stratum granulosum layer what stratum granulosum layer now as the cell ascends up the cell will lo lose its nuclei nuclei and of borders and cell become dead up to here the cells are what living now above this that is only present in the thick skin is the lucidum what a stratum lucidum lucidum so it is a smooth and transparent layer what a smooth some books say translucent some say transparent what translucent and it is above the stratum granulosum and cells over here are what dead 
cells over here are dead and then multiple layer pile up as it presents in the skin and the cells here over here are packed by another proteins that is the keratohyalin granules will synthesize another protein that is known as ilidin ilidin protein so ilidin protein what makes what it gives what a barrier type of layer to this that is present in the palms and soles so the keratohyalin granules along with the ilidin protein that is a product of keratohyalin granules it provides its translucent appearance and and then what barrier to the various skin layers so it is present only in the thick skin last one is the corneum what a stratum corneum so it is the outermost layer of the skin and it is constant it is in constant contact with the environment and it is completely being it is periodically being shed off what periodically being shed off and it consists of multiple layer of cells many 15 to 16 15 up to 20 layer of cells of cells and cells all have are dead and then again the things how in how many days all the cells of the stratum corneum will shed off so it takes mainly 4 weeks about what 4 weeks so that every cells of the stratum corneum are being shed and it is replaced by what the contents of a stratum corneum a stratum granulosum in the case of thin skin and a stratum lucidum in the cases of thick skin and even the process like cosmetic products that is used to that is the micro derma abrasions that is used to make the skin fresh and bright is being applied in which layer corneum stratum corneum micro derma abrasion in this what we do we just throw or kick off the layer of stratum corneum and the in our more the fresh layer of cells will come and our face becomes very bright so this video is all about the layers of epidermis from below to above if this video is helpful to you then please like and for more videos tap the subscribe buttons and i always say you can comment the feedbacks about my video is there anything that i have to really improve then you can comment and you can just suggest me the topics on which you want the video Stay tuned and connected with Akash Balaji. Thank you.